So let's begin by discussing why we might use a trap bar deadlift at BFP as opposed to a traditional bar deadlift or some other variation. Um, mostly because if we want somebody who's strong to keep moving big weight and they need to work around a back injury, a trap bar can be a great way to do that. Because of the way the bar is positioned where you can place your hands on the handles, it is within your center of mass as opposed to in front of your center of mass as a straight bar might be when it's in front of your shins. Uh, also, we have the elevated handles, so somebody doesn't have to bend over as far to get this, which can also um, help them work around any mobility restrictions and back pain they're having. Also, if they are taller, uh, the, the elevated handles can be of great benefit to them as compared to using a straight bar or a traditional bar at a traditional height. So generally, we're going to use a trap bar for folks uh, when we need to modify around back pain and a traditional straight bar deadlift just isn't working for them. Now let's talk about how to properly execute the trap bar deadlift. So you want them to be careful stepping in because sometimes this bar will move up and down as it rolls from front to back. But otherwise we're gonna set up by hinging back, placing our hands on those high handles in line with our shoestrings or the side, you know, the side of our shin, driving the knees outward, ripping the floor apart, locking down the upper back, and then standing tall with that trap bar at our sides or around us. Excuse me. Now, from the side view, what you'll see here in just a second is a better, uh, you'll get a better idea of how I place my hands to keep it within my center of mass, and I don't allow that bar to waver forwards and backwards. We want the path of the bar to be straight up and straight down as we go through this movement. And it's also important that we still maintain the hips higher than the knees so that it is still truly a hip dominant movement and not turning into a squat. And we'll show you some of those technique errors here in just a few reps. So you step in. Again, we're going to grab those high handles with our hands in line with our shoestrings so that it's within our center of mass. Notice the hips are higher than my knees. I'm going to lock down that upper back and then push the floor away and squeeze those hips through at the top. So notice the path of the barbell. You could draw a straight line on the end of that barbell down all the way up as I stand because that's what we want to do. We want to keep it within our center of mass and that bar path be completely vertical throughout the movement. Now we're going to move into some technique errors here. First you're going to see a rounded spine. This just means the weight's either too heavy or I wasn't properly holding tension before I lifted. So we need to practice holding tension with a lighter weight. Same thing there, you saw the hips shoot up in proper sequencing. On this one, you're gonna see the bar move forward and waver back in. This is very dangerous with heavy weight, so we have to make sure they're aware that that can happen. And then here you'll see me turn it into a squat. This is not wrong with a trap bar, but it's not a deadlift. So we need to make sure that we are keeping that chest down and the hips back. 